wow, this is the awesome blue iguana. A blue iguana. <laughs> hey, Martin would love this creature because he loves blue animals. We've been to islands around the world and seen so many amazing and unique lizards. Yeah, from Madagascar, home of the Brookesia chameleon, which uses its tail to walk. And the leaf-tailed gecko, whose body is designed to mimic dead leaves. Wow, and to the Caribbean with the Sparrow gecko of the Virgin Islands, the world's smallest lizard. <laughs> or here in the Cayman Islands, where I've come to meet a lizard that reaches five feet long, the island's largest native land animal. This is the blue iguana. Blue iguanas are special because they live only here on Grand Cayman Island, nowhere else in the world. Now these guys are different than the green iguanas in that they like to stay mostly on the ground. They're mostly terrestrial species. They don't climb as much or swim as much as the green iguanas do. Now green iguanas are a problem for these guys because green iguanas are not endemic to this island. It was only in recent decades that green iguanas were brought here by people as pets. But with no natural predators, the green iguana population grew they started outcompeting the blue iguana, altering the ecology of the island and taking up food resources, especially since green iguanas can climb and defoliate trees and brush. And with that competitor, it makes it much, much harder for the blue iguana to survive. This iguana is part of the Blue Iguana Recovery Program here at the National Trust for the Cayman Islands in the Queen Elizabeth II Botanical Park. It's a very important conservation and breeding program for these endangered blue iguanas. Look at that awesome face. That big mouth. And look at the corners of his mouth. There are some real ridgy scales. Some are even pointed and sharp. And look at all the spines right down his back. They offer some protection against predators. But why are they blue? Well, scientists are still studying that, but it seems like the blue color gets brighter when they sit out and warm up in the sun. Also, when their moods change, they tend to become a bluer color as well. And lastly, they also tend to be bluer when they're well-nourished, when they have plenty of food, when they're healthy and have lots of the vitamins they need. This guy is a nice, cold, metallic blue right now. It's super cool. Now this guy's only about half as blue as he's gonna get. When his body temperature reaches about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, he'll be twice as blue as he is now. Oh, wow. Now he's up to about 75% blue. Keep going, buddy. We're up to 85 now. Getting closer. Keep going. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give him a little piece of nani fruit to see if that makes him so happy he gets the rest of the way to 100% blue. <laughs> yes, we did it. He's up around 100% blue. <laughs> the blue iguana. Another awesome animal for our creature life list. Like and subscribe for more amazing animal videos.